I am tired of walking around my home feeling and looking ugly. So I decided that I want to um, get myself together and wrap my head up because this is just looking terrible. So all my scarves, a whole bunch of scarves right here, a whole bunch and then a whole bunch at the back, all of my scarves. And I always wear the same ones over and over. <sighs> okay, so before I get to um, making myself look pretty, I just want to show you pretty. <laughs> as pretty as I feel, you know, I'm just feeling very bleh. So as you can see, my um, hairline is going even more. It's looking crazy. Like all the right here. It's just looking very, very terrible. So I'm still losing hair. So, I mean, in my first video that I put up, I did say that I noticed the um, that at eight weeks mark, the two month mark, that I, my hair was going. But I did actually um, notice it at the six week mark. But at the eight week mark, it started to get a little bit more. So I'm 13 weeks postpartum and um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and make myself look as decent as I can so I don't feel so ugly and we'll just get on with the video. so funny because whenever the health visitor come around to see her they are so like you know amazed at how big she is for a breastfed baby but <laughs> Lisa stop telling people my business <laughs> okay baby I won't tell everybody okay okay pretty cute <laughs> Okay, so the other day I was talking with my mother and um, on video call. Hey, yes, I was talking with grandma. Do you remember? So I was talking with my mom and she obviously saw her granddaughter and she said, oh my God, Keisha, she looks just like you when you were a baby. And I was like, you know what? I would love to see some baby photos of myself because I don't have many. I am not in possession of any baby photos of myself oh bless you sweet girl so yeah my mom was saying that on her facebook page there were some photos of me when i was a baby and you know obviously saying that i look just like my daughter or my daughter looks just like me i was like i want to go and see these photos so i came across some photos of me and my mom when i was about nine or ten years old and i think it was actually nine years old in this photo and um you know we was going to my cousin's christening and i just looked at myself and i'm like oh my god like i want my hairline to be back to that you know i want to just talk about the fact that you know playing words of the saying hindsight is 2020 and i'm saying hearsight is 2020 and that's because once i started looking back through these photos of myself you know i realized in those moments when I thought my hair was like, my hairline looked terrible, like I had no edges, 
compared to comparing that to now i honestly wish i could go back to that because boy it's funny because in these photos that you're looking at right now i literally thought my hairline looked like what it looked like now like oh my god she ain't got no edges and you know i always want to keep my head covered and stuff like that but looking back at the photos now that i am going through this i'm realizing like girl girl like it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad all them other times so basically the message that i want to like impart on you guys in this particular video is just embrace your hair at that particular time if it's not well then again when you're in that situation to you it seems bad because to me my hairline seemed like you look like ridiculousness right so it's kind of hard to say but i'm just trying to I just want to say don't be too hard on yourself because when you look back at something you realize oh it wasn't that bad so i guess that saying is true where it says you never know what you have until it's gone because now that my hairline is gone you know i'm just looking here like damn i wish i had what i had before like the moments when i thought my hairline was looking terrible like give me that any day right now because why sir i literally have nothing like look at this look at here can you see all of this right here look at that like literally bald bald like my hair is gone it's gone it's gone look let me just push this back and i just covered it up because i said i didn't want to look too crazy but look this video is all about me looking crazy look look at all of this look at all of this gone yeah so just looking back at those photos it literally got me thinking like girl give me that back right now please like i will happily take my hairline like this any day but um yes yeah, so i've been pregnant since 2000 you know, I fell pregnant with my second child in 2014. And obviously, I just recently gave birth this year. So, in the space of five years, I've given birth like three times. So, my edges is dealing with a lot, girl, right? A lot, baby girl. Yes. A lot. What? I know. But I'm so grateful because I have you. I know I love you so much so I just want to share with you guys that listen I know we're going through this struggle I see you guys comments and I appreciate them you know um, but for those of us who are going through hair loss whether it's postpartum hair loss or hair loss or any other causes listen we're in this together and we're gonna grow our edges back together and I'm determined yes baby girl I'm determined I am determined to grow my edges back because me and baby girl are going to be rocking edges, okay? That's right, right? Right? We're going to rock edges together. <laughs> exactly. So if you guys want to see my journey and grow your hair back with me, then you know what to do. Keep coming through to support. But remember, I just want you guys to know that don't be too hard on yourself in that particular moment when you're looking at yourself in the mirror like what the heck is going on now obviously right now i look at myself in the mirror and be like what the hell is going on because this is like still happening i'm still shedding hair because the other night when i was laying down i was just playing in my hair and then i just pulled out some here and i'm just like what the heck is going on here so yeah i'm gonna just sign off right now and i just want to say thank you for coming back to support me and see and watch my journey i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye